Right, we're going to talk about rivers and seas, oceans, and this, of course, involves water. What are the precipitates on the mountain tops? And they will kind of like flow down stream into streams and rivers, and then it goes right into the ocean. We know that. Now we're going to talk about how human activity plays an influence in this part of the water cycle. So, uh, most importantly is that we do take water from rivers and streams and we divert it. Alright, we divert it to plant crops, farming, irrigation, whatever it is. So, we, we divert water to conduct our farming activities. And then when the, when the water in the river flows downstream. Before it meets the city, a developed city will have a water treatment plant in front of it. A water treatment plant comes in a two-stage or three-stage treatment systems. And here is a generalization of these of the state uh, systems. Now, it's quite important to note that a lot of these uh, water treatment systems will vary differently from one city to, to another city, from one country to another country. But it should have some of these, if not all of these, elements in place. You have a screening process. So the water that gets from, from upstream goes through a screen. This screen will just filter out big chunks of um, material or matter. All right? And then whatever is left with, you have is may undergo ozonification or they may ozonize it if there's such a word they may put irradiate the water with ozone to eliminate bacteria all right and they allow this uh, water body uh, that they have collected and have screened and ozone to uh, settle out and then a precipitate layer will form Right? They may treat it with some sort of chemicals in between to uh, allow precipitate to occur. Right? So they, that's what they do. And these will take weeks or some places, yeah, weeks. And once the water stagnates and it gets and it's allowed to precipitate, they remove that top layer and whatever they have left, that water body, they go through a very uh, coarse filtration system where it's, they will filter it with sand or gravel and all that sort. So they'll filter it and then whatever is collected outside left is again ozonified because they want to get rid of the bacteria. And then um, that body of water is treated through activated carbon activated carbon will remove any things that are not good for human health and then after that uh, big molecules are uh, again filtered out through micro filtration or particles uh, or, or micro filtration where uh, the filter will only allow small water molecules to pass through and not the bigger chunks of whatever that may be in the water body. And after all that is done, the water is treated with chlorine to not allow bacteria to grow back. And then that thing is piped to our homes and to industry. So the, this, this is the basic process of um, water treatment and of course this after the treat water is treated upstream it feeds to the city where industrial processes or home or residential uh, people folks will um, consume or use the water and what is interesting to note a typical use of water in our homes is that most of it is used to flush our toilets and then to shower. A little bit is used to wash our clothes, wash our dishes, uh, water our gardens, 
for cooking and then even less for drink, uh, drinking. So if we can save the consumption of water in toilets and showers, uh, that will really allow the city to have water during drought season, which is particularly uh, sensitive in this part of the world, um, even though this is a tropical country. And um, in some countries like Japan, they have separate systems for water that's used for consumption and water that's used for our toilets. So that's kind of cool, uh, right? And when we discharge water at our homes, it, go, it should go through the sewage system. And on our streets and roads, we have a different drainage system, which is known as the stormwater drainage system. So when it rains, the water from the sky or whatever goes into the stormwater and is discharged into the rivers uh, without any treatment. Sewage goes through a different pipeline. And this sewage pipe will ultimately go to another treatment plant a wastewater treatment plant that is downstream from the city and this wastewater is again undergoes two or three stage treatment and then it's discharged safely into the river all right uh, some countries have lack of fresh water and so the only means of obtaining fresh water is to take the water from the sea or ocean and what they go the process that they undergo to treat to convert salt water into fresh water is a process called desalination so they basically remove the salt from the sea water that they have collected and then this is a very expensive process a very inefficient process and it requires a lot of energy and money to do this so there you go, a quick overview of our seas and rivers and how human activity uh, diverts water and how we convert useless water to useful fresh water and how we treat water for consumption and uses and how we should treat our waste water downstream.